This is my CYC X1 Pro Gen 3 e-bike conversion. This motor can output 7000 watts with X12 controller and field weakening. I have X6 controller here, the Santa Cruz Bronson 2022 XL frame and the batteries from Bicycle Motors works. It's 72 volts, 12 amp power capacity, 90 amp discharge. On their website you can find any type of batteries for any specs you need for any type of e-bike conversions. Check their website, plenty of options here. The battery needs to be finished up properly, it needs to be connected nicely to the frame so it looks cleaner and looks like it belongs there, right? And it's not something that's DIY'd. So I'm still working on that and if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to, you know, see what you guys think and hopefully that will speed up the process and, you know, save me some time and uh, finish this faster for you. So the bike is 99% completed. I only have uh, to get this part and finish here, cut this off and the battery. I need to find a better way to strap it here. Something that's more, uh, more prettier, better looking, but everything else, it's completed and I have to set up the motor. I just went for a test ride and the speed limit is not removed. It's getting quite warm. There's some condensation here, so it's actually nice today for the first time. It's sunny and warm and we can wear a t-shirt. And I have here pretty much the best components I could uh, afford. Uh, this month, uh, my bank account is uh, it's robbed. Like, you know, these wheels were so expensive, the frame. Um, a lot of parts here that are actually, you know, uh, pretty costly and I didn't want to go cheap and I want to make sure it's a cool build and uh, we get the best possible for this kit. Uh, finished the bracket last night and this kit uh, it should give you close to 5 kilowatts, uh, 5000 watts and uh, I have here X6. Uh, I think the frame it's probably this is too much for this frame but you can go X12, unlock it and get 7000 watts and get crazy speed. So right now it's limited. I have to play with the settings and unlock it, but I just wanna give you a follow up and show you uh, how far I got with the build. The futon did not fit here, unfortunately, but we're getting a third frame, which uh, will be modular. Probably that'll be much better frame uh, because we'll uh, be able to accommodate any of the kits for CYC. This is uh, too fancy, too expensive, but uh, even without the motor, I rode this frame and it's freaking comfortable and uh, so much control, so nimble, and it's not light, it's really thick. And here, I feel like it'll do great because we have this uh, plastic plate here, we have here storage, uh, maybe a little bit of uh, wire management and the bike will be ready. A lot of travel here, look at this thing and uh, look how much travel here. So 160 millimeters in the front, um, Zeb uh, rock shocks. Uh, this is a custom uh, Fox here. Uh, really cool guys frame and I can't wait to take in a trail, uh, finish all the setups and do top speed tests and then uh, see what this can do on the trails. Uh, yeah, this Magra brakes and this uh, huge disc brakes uh, are awesome. Uh, the bike all around, it's just uh, incredible and uh, I wish I had more fun so I can get uh, lighter parts. But this is uh, so far how much I got completed and uh, guys stay tuned, uh, more coming, I love the company, love the kit, now uh, get in touch with John and he was in New York uh, last week, we met, amazing uh, dude, really cool and they're focused to deliver the most powerful, the most compact, the best quality, the highest quality kits uh, available in the market. So. They have some amazing stuff and the works that are coming. The 5 kilowatt kit fits perfectly here. And I think Stealth is a better option here. Has plenty of power, but this is way more power than you need. Uh, this is more than this frame can handle probably. So be careful here not to crack it and, you know, and be on the safe side. Uh, this controller fits perfectly here and can be unlocked to maximum power, but I think if you have something sturdier, maybe something like titanium or maybe something thicker, you can even go X12, which will be insanely cool. And uh, this kit needs to be unlocked and you'll see guys, this is amazing. And so don't, don't tell me about uh, Bafang, that's just not even comparable to this, this is not the same. Um, the amount of technology that went into this and uh, how they build the futon, which transfer energy wirelessly inside, no wires, that's insane. So love this kit, uh, it's amazing. I think it's too much for this frame. But anyway guys, just to wrap it up, more updates are coming, so stay tuned. Uh, this is how much I got done so far, and uh, yeah, hopefully next, uh, you know, five, six days I can fin finalize everything and uh, 
get you guys uh, all the specs and full review uh, to be posted hopefully this weekend so if you have any questions comment down below let me know guys what do you want to see uh, what exactly you know uh, and what do you look in the kit like what is important for you I know they're not cheap but they're also not expensive if you compare uh, what you get from the fang uh, the same power if you get all the components it's pretty much the same price but quality wise this thing it's 10 times better 10 times higher and I like the customer support they answer all my questions we're trying now to get it to unlock this and set it up which is not easy to do so guys stay tuned updates coming bye